Hey guys, it's Monday. Yeah, miss anything over the weekend? I don't know, like fighter jets over the city, or like a bomb scare this morning at the White House, or the Danish Prime Minister arriving at the White House, which I sort of caught but really didn't because I was eating lunch. Anyway, now it's Monday. Now we can get going doing what we like to do, which is running around this city, Washington, D.C., and seeing what we can see. We're down by the State Department right now in Foggy Bottom. This is the homeless camp that has replaced McPherson Square. Uh, there were 60 tents in McPherson Square, and now there's you know, about 40, 30 or 40 of them here. This, this area will be cleared by the government soon, though they haven't specified a date. But they are trying the whack-a-mole strategy kick them out of one park so they go to another then kick them out of that park and then just keep kicking them out of parks I guess until they get tired uh, this is the State Department here on my right and I think the Secretary of State's not even in town today I'm not sure and up on the left that's one of the Federal Reserve buildings that one is actually occupied right now the other two offices are down on 18th and K a rented space but that's part of the feds and then the two well hang on a second car these other two fed buildings are being renovated the main federal reserve headquarters here on my left and then the department of interior building down the way let's just cut through the sidewalks break some laws there we go ow tree so there's your federal reserve renovation underway this is going to take us down to the Lincoln Memorial area. Now, I am going back to the White House shortly because the Prime Minister of Denmark is probably going to make a statement after meeting with uh, Biden. And I'll be there to film whatever she might say. This is the Vietnam Veterans Memorial, right down here on my left. But it's got a bit of people right now. Let's see if we can drop this bike somewhere and get a little bit closer. So guys, we're at the book for the Vietnam Wall. And one of my regular followers named Jo, uh, she says that her brother-in-law, sadly, is here on the wall. So let's take a look. Specialist, May 20th, 1969, West 24, line 58. So West 24, line 58. Let's go take a look down here. So the wall is in chronological order, but it starts in the middle, goes out to one side, then it loops back around and comes back here. Let's go down to the panel and see if we can find uh, Joe Dodds' uh, brother-in-law. Are we at here so there's a little west 70 69 okay we have to go in a bit it was uh west 24 line 58 so he's going to be right towards the end of the war actually now there are memorials left here by veterans and comrades and families and friends and the smithsonian comes out regularly and categorizes everything that's left here and they put it in storage and occasionally they display it at the Smithsonian American History Museum. Let's go down a bit. Thirty-one, thirty-nine, twenty-eight. That's twenty-four. Right, twenty-four. Here we go. Twenty-four. And line fifty-eight. I think you can go down. Yeah. There's dots on this side, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. And there it is, guys. Harry Floyd Dodds. Rest in peace, Specialist Dodds. Okay, guys, let's uh, make our way down a bit more. As you get down to the bottom, it's really pretty heavy because the memorial goes up so high. 
There's so many names here. Some of the names, though, let me see if I can find one for you. Some of the names are still technically missing in action. And those are marked with a cross rather than a diamond next to their name. And when new names are found, they're put into these little blank spots. You know, they squeeze them in as close as they can to the chronological order. Ah, you know, and now I can't actually find a POW MIA. Now we'll see one here in a bit. The marble reflects really well. They come out here and get uh, amazing vision of the Capitol or the memorial. Here we go. So you see here, guys? This is an MI. Kenneth. R. Buell. He's listed as missing in action. If they find his body, or this man, William C. Wood Jr., they'll finish this in and make it a full diamond. You can see here these have been filled in. They're not the original perfect square diamonds, but they're crosses that were later found. These men were found, or, you know, parts of them, or they were identified. So they able to do it. All right. Let's make our way out. It's very depressing down at the bottom. It's so overpowering. There's just so much of the wall next to you. But you walk out of it. You know, it comes out of it. And then slowly the sky begins to return. And the wall becomes smaller and smaller. Really amazing design. It's a Tropic Thunder patch. 25th Infantry, I think. Okay. Let's make our way up out of the wall. Oh, we have to get back to the White House. Let's forget the bike. Let's just let's find some other way to get down there. Maybe we'll grab a scooter or something. Okay, guys, we got ourselves a scooter. Woohoo! Means we don't have to pedal. We're going to make our way back over to the White House. We're going to pass the big white fence that surrounds the Federal Reserve Building. You can just kind of see it on the other side of the road, but not really. You can see it sometimes down here because they open up the uh, gate. Um, the Prime Minister of Denmark is going to be coming out and making a statement soon. I have no idea what are the pressing issues between the U.S. and Denmark, but I'm about to find out. <laughs> All right, let's go down this way. What a glorious day. Once again, this has been an amazing spring, early summer. It's 75 degrees here in Washington, D.C. This has been about the temperature for the last, I don't know, like 25 of the last 30 days, something like that. We've had a couple days in the 80s and a couple days that are a little cooler, but it has been an incredibly mild spring and early summer. I'm sure it forebodes like humid misery yet to come next month but <laughs> okay we are inside passing pebble beach they're not really pebbles here anymore it's all like slate uh, we've got the motorcade vehicles down here got the press setting up i should get a ladder up for this i go grab a ladder and uh, hopefully nobody grabbed my ladder took it out to the preset well we'll see there's the denmark car Hidden right back there. Well, I think you know we have uh, two officials uh, in Beijing right now. Uh, Senior Director General uh, here, uh, and Dan Crittman from State Department in Beijing. The sprinklers have just turned on. Oh, cool. Oh, we're getting clobbered. Angle it just next time. Waiting for the Prime Minister of Denmark to come out. That got me. All right, I'm I got wet. Um, I'm stuck. Oh, it's raining on us too. Yeah, they come. Oh. Yeah. Stuff like that. 
Back to the bush line, please. We're going to have cars come through. Unilateral TV? Uh, Independent. I don't know. You say unilateral stills? They do. Unilateral stills? All right. I think they said that first. We'll go with it. She said stills. Stills? Yeah. She, she was. She's coming. Oh. Oh. Thank you. Okay, we snuck out. And the rose garden. How many roses? There's a few. It's a mess out here. Jeez. I'm glory. Any shade? Someone was asking about the swing set the other day. And there it is on the south lawn. The putting green is right over there. Waiting. All right. President of the United States, accompanied by Coach Andy Reid and Mark Donovan.
2023 Super Bowl champions, the Kansas City Chiefs. Now I have to be careful what I say today. I'll explain in just a second. You can smile, man. It's okay. It's the only one I've ever seen. Well, my political opposition thinks the same thing of me. Look, we've got a lot of Chiefs fans here today, including Kansas Governor Laura Kelly. Laura, oh, look at her. There you go. God love you. Nobody believed us before. Nobody believed us before. And I'm sure it's going to be that same way this time when we come out and prove them wrong. press pool. See all the cameras pointing at him? And then there's other press back there, and up on the tower, and back over there. It's a zoo. He's been working the rope line for about 10 minutes, and he's out of range right now for our photos, but he's coming closer. We're going to get him here in a second. Has the Ukrainian counteroffensive begun? Oh, sir. Oh. <laughs> sir, can you talk to us about the Ukrainian counteroffensive? Check. What are you doing, guys? Right behind. Yeah. You look really hot where you were, Nathan. <laughs> I think. Dang! Let's see. Oh. Okay, back out. How'd it go? Good, good. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we'll try to keep some order to this, uh, give everybody a shot within the time restriction that we have, but we're, we're really gracious uh, in uh, this organization and their stamp on it. I think that's why it's such a good organization to be a part of. 
Um, and so, obviously, we, we wish she was here and that she got to experience this with us. Uh, but we're glad that we kind of got to celebrate her by being here today. Um, and uh, there's no better way to celebrate her than having the Lamar Hunt Trophy, having the Super Bowl Trophy, and being at the White House showing how great the Kansas City Chiefs are going to be. We stress on our side of the ball. A lot, a lot of guys uh, kind of leave. Uh, we got a chance to bond with those guys, man. Uh, they're showing what it means to get here. Uh, we got three guys coming in, and it's just kind of kind of the uh, groundwork for us. Uh, those guys came in every single day. Uh, this is my first two years uh, in the league, kind of something to work with. How to be better every single day. So, uh, man, having those guys back in the building, man, it's huge for us. Uh, again, it's just a moment for us to kind of take it in after this year. Earlier, and uh, man, have a blast with All right, I'm Sandy Builder. I think you're taking that from this. Uh, our hearts are out uh, for the Hunt family. Clark wasn't able to make it today, obviously, for uh, with Norma passing away, but um, it's I can just picture her for Lamar up in heaven. You know, I, I just see that, and they're united again. I think it's awesome. So, uh, with that, we leave that with you and, uh, and, and have safe travel back. Okay, guys, that was a very, very long day at the White House with the Kansas City Chiefs and a few other places in between. Listen, tomorrow we've got the Vice President going to Philadelphia. We've got not a lot going on at the White House, and I don't think the Congress is doing anything either. So we'll just explore D.C. and show you around a little bit. Thanks a lot for watching today. I will talk to you tomorrow.